Now then my friends, I have some interesting information for you. Some interesting information it's really important it's a new craze that is hitting il the electric car charging network and the infrastructure uh it's um it's something that i wouldn't actually have believed that uh, people are actually doing but um I'll, do you know what nothing uh, would surprise me these days um, i've got to go to the dentist i'm going to take you guys with me i'm going to explain you're not going to believe me it isn't clickbait it's actual reality it's a new craze uh, that is hitting these things the electric charger and uh, especially the uh, the ones that you get uh, on the road, the the the, uh, the actual network itself, Instavolt, etc., uh, and places like that, and also dealerships that allow you to use their chargers. And uh, I've got footage of it as well. It's an amazing story. If you're new to the channel, by the way, and you do like electric cars, uh, because it is the future, isn't it? Or is it controversial? Then do hit the subscribe button. Anyway, without further ado, my friends, let's go. Right, my friends, <laughs> you're not going to believe this. I, I can tell you, I didn't believe it either. I I'm going to get to it in a minute. Um, if you're new to the channel, by the way, and you, you, you've got electric cars or you're looking for an electric car, I actually have an electric car. I've made lots and lots of videos, or well, a few videos about um, electric cars, which have actually done really well. Now, I think out of all the videos that I've done, the most amount of comments that I've ever, ever had are literally for these electric car videos. You've got the electric car uh, people that are um, obsessed, literally obsessed with electric cars. And uh, if you say anything, anything about, or anything bad about electric cars, they literally jump at you. Uh, it's because it's all for the greater good. It's all about the greater good. The greater good. You know, these people. Um, however, I've stuck with my electric car. It is the future, unfortunately. I know some people will say it isn't. It isn't the future. Hydrogen's the future. We've gone through all that. However, this is not about that today. This is actually about a new craze that has that is hitting the electric car network and I, I'm blown away by it to be honest, I, I, I don't understand it, I don't understand, I, I mean if this is going to happen and this is going to be a thing then it's going to be an issue, it's going to be a major issue for the EV charging infrastructure and for the future of electric cars. This is not clickbait by the way, this is actual reality, this is real so this car gets roughly 281 miles uh, out of uh, a charge now if I charge uh, at home there uh, on my Anderson charger not sponsored by the way um, cost me about 17 pound to go 281 miles however this car doesn't have a massive range like Tesla's but we're not getting into that so I use uh, uh, the Porsche charging network where you get a card and you go to these different uh, networks across the UK and I was in Leeds the other day, I'd been somewhere, I think I'd been up to Manchester and then I went back to Leeds and I wanted to charge up. So I popped into Porsche Leeds and they have an ultra fast charger there, you can literally get a full charge in about 10-15 minutes or something daft like that, it really is quick. So I went there. I pulled up and there is a petrol car in the actual uh, space where the, um, or two petrol cars, I think it was, two petrol cars uh, in the in the space. And I went in and I said, uh, excuse me, I said, there's petrol cars in the electric car parking space. And she said, yeah, yes, I know there is. Uh, but, and I said, oh, can, can you move them? Because I need to charge up. And she says, well, they're there because, uh, look at this guy, parking in front of the actual entrance. Um, so, it's actually, uh, right, okay, here we go. I don't think I'm gonna make it through there. Here we go, thank you, cheers. Um, so, let me just get through here. This is very low as well, there we go, all right. Um, 
bear with me one second this is a huge car right there we go so i went in she says well there's no point in us moving the um the cars out of the way because um somebody came in overnight right get this somebody came in overnight while nobody was there one car was in plugged in charging and they came in and they cut the cable on the charges and they cut the cables off i said why would they cut the cables off what for i said what one of them was still in the car um now this was at porsche leeds so we've actually talked about whether electric cars and evs are the future well i'm right here at porsche bringing my car in for a service and uh, up here is the electric charging point where the cables have actually been stolen if you have a look because they've stole the cables for the copper wiring on the inside of it so that's going to be a thing uh, when we go all electric and evs you're going to turn up to charge and there's going to be no cables because people have stolen them for the minute little copper wiring that's on the inside uh, it also happened at mercedes over the road so uh, there you go the future of ev where you turn up and there's no cables because they've been stolen and one of them was still in the car and they got back in the morning the cables had gone and the charging thing was obviously because the charges get locked into the electric cars um so the, the charger was there but the whole cable had gone right up to the uh to the machine part itself and i said surely they got electrocuted she says well luckily uh, it had stopped charging but they just left it in overnight and i said why on earth would they just cut the cables off for what point and she says for the copper that's inside it uh, they can sell it and um and I said, you, you're kidding me. She says, no. And Mercedes over the road from Porsche as well, they'd, they'd got them as well. So they'd actually cut the cables off of the ones in Mercedes. Again, uh, one of them was charging a Mercedes car up, one was charging a Porsche up. So that got me to thinking, I says, what is this? And she said, it's a, a new craze that uh, literally is hitting uh, the electric charging infrastructure across the, um, across the UK and uh i said that's absolutely crazy i said well surely they'd get electrocuted and she said well they they didn't get electrocuted obviously otherwise well who knows uh, uh but apparently it's a massive craze at the moment so uh, and i said is that like f for home I said, would they do that for home charges as well and she said uh, a friend of hers actually um same thing happened to them they cut the cable off for somebody who's charging at home it's a new craze that's going around um and it's, it's just madness isn't it why would you cut a cable off for a tiny little piece of copper i mean it's i didn't even know there was any copper in them and uh, one of the um service technicians came out and he said uh, it's a very very thin piece of copper he said they would have probably got you know 60 or 70 pound for it or something which for some people i guess is a lot of money but it, uh, the actual machine itself that they cut the fast charging machines at, at, at Leeds. I said, "Well, how much? How much is that going to cost you?" And he said, "Over and above eighty to a hundred thousand pounds worth of damage that they'd done, literally just to get uh, a piece of copper out of it." So now they're going to have to fit gates to it, to the entrances and the premises, etc. And I said, "Well, what about the uh, charging network across the UK?" I said. And, and it, it, apparently it's going to be a thing so there we go where does that leave us what's your thoughts um i mean you can't do it to a, a petrol pump can you unless you want fuel everywhere but i, I guess you could but you can't really pinch the fuel can you it's a it's a whole new craze if this is going to happen this is another hurdle that we're going to have to cross for charging i mean i leave my car charging overnight in my drive who knows whether anyone's going to come along and cut the cable on it it's madness anyway just a quick video i wanted to um i wanted to show you because i got that footage when i went back to take my car in for more issues that i've had on i've had more problems with this car uh you, you won't believe it I mean, loads of problems with this car but i'm persevering because it is the future supposedly uh so the future now is obviously um 
st stealing um, electric charging cables. Anyway, there you go. Tell me your thoughts in uh, the comment section down below. Uh, it's not clickbait. It's actually it actually happened at Porsche Leeds and uh, and also Mercedes crazy so there we go anyway don't forget hit the subscribe button by the way if you're new to the channel uh, i'm going to try and get to one of the uh one of the uk's largest charging uh stations that um i think it's one of europe's largest uh, but definitely one definitely britain's largest uh electric charging uh, station uh so i'm gonna head there as well and do a, a review on that anyway that's all from me today thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye